The Miami Hurricanes want to build on their five and seven season from 2022. A number of players have transferred out. However, Miami has added 16 new transfers in. There's a lot of guys who I expect to make big impacts. And David, that's what we're going to talk about here. I, I think there's a, essentially five names that popped out to me when, when we answer this question, which, which transfer will make the biggest impact this season. And, and I'm curious which way you're going to go. We've not talked about this. Uh, I'm curious which name. I think it's going to be one of these five. But I'm going to lead this off and, and talk about my guy who I think will make the biggest impact because I think it's going to be a surprise, maybe a surprise to you, but I'm going with center Matt Lee. And look, I, I think people watching this video be like, why would you go with a center? He, he might not even be their best offensive lineman this year. I, I think he's very good. The reason why I like, it, I think he's going to be very good. I think he's going to solidify the line. I think he's going to help a lot of different ways. I, I think he is going to be a very productive center. He's, he was very good uh, at UCF. I think he's going to have a very good season. I think he's going to be a potential all ACC candidate. I think his leadership is going to be a big impact, you know, not just with the offensive line, but also with, with Tyler Van Dyke. I think he's going to really help connect th those two together. You know, your center quarterback combination. I think he's just going to have a good uh, sense with the offense in general, lead those guys. I think the wide, I think his play and his leadership is really going to trickle down with all across the group, not just the starting offensive line, but I think the backups on the O line, I, I think with the, with the wide receivers, the tight end, I think he's just going to have one of these big impact seasons in terms of his on and off the, the field type stuff. But again, it, it starts with how he plays. Look, you can be a leader and talk people through some practice drills, but if you're not a good player, it doesn't resonate as well. We've, we've all people have been on teams before you, you know, the difference between uh, a real leader and a guy that actually does it and produces uh, as opposed to someone who just talks and talks. But I think Matt Lee is going to make the biggest impact this year because I think his play on the field, I think they really need to upgrade that center position. I think the, the offensive line in general needs to be much better than a year ago. And I think a guy like Lee can really elevate the rest of the group. I, you know, the guys he's going to play next to at guard, the running game, I think he's just going to make a big impact all across the board. So that's why I have him as the biggest impact transfer for the Hurricanes this year. Total stud. Uh, couldn't agree more with you on Matt Lee. Uh, I think he's he has that NFL center type of potential, and I think he's going to be a game changer for the offensive line, as you're alluding to. For me, I'm I'm gonna go with a guy who maybe will surprise people, but I like the potential. It's a little bit of a uh, high risk, high reward uh, pick here. So we're going to roll with it. Uh, I'm going with wide receiver Tyler Harrell. Uh, and the reason why I'm picking him, he has that one trait that you just cannot teach, and that is speed. And uh, that trait has been missing at Miami at that outside receiver spot for a few years. To me, he's the, the best vertical threat uh, Miami's had since Philip Dorsett. He has that type of speed that terrifies defensive coordinators. Uh, and the type of speed that you feel and notice on the field. Um, and, and even if he isn't necessarily getting a ton of targets, I do think just by him being on the field, he impacts coverages, impacts the approach a defense will have play to play when he is there um, because he's a guy that you have to key on as a defense. Um, I envision a guy, you know, we all know, Mario Cristobal wants to run the ball too with physicality. To me, if you're able to get that running game going, Tyler Harrell is that type of play action over the top wide receiver that can break a game open. He clocked a verified 424 in the 40 at one of Louisville's pro days a couple years back. And to me, Chris, he's not a small guy either. Uh, you know, we saw him walking around at a, at a summer camp and uh, he looked to me uh, just six one ish 200 pounds or so so he's not a diminutive speed guy he looks the part he flies around the field uh, of course last year he was at alabama didn't work out there because of a lower extremity injury that plagued him the majority of the season uh, but if that's behind him and he's ready to go this year i think he can be highly productive he averaged 29 yards per catch uh two years ago at louisville taking the top off defenses uh, week after week. He's not a perfect receiver. He has plenty of areas to clean up. But I always want to know what elite traits a player has. Not all players have elite traits. But the elite trait that Tyler Harrell has is elite. And so I think he's going to be kind of... I mean, it's funny to me because he is uh, 
extremely fast. And typically that gets you a lot of attention, but he's kind of an under the radar addition to me uh, in the portal for Miami this off season. I think he can have a significant impact if he is healthy. And I wrote five names down. And when you were leading into this, I was like, is David going to go outside the top five? And and, it, and you did not. I did have Tyler in these this five that I'm looking at, uh, the ones that I think will make the biggest impact. And, and I'm not surprised you went that way. And the reason being is, look, you look at what he did at Alabama, and maybe fans aren't quite – sure what they have in Harold or what he's going to be. But I would just suggest everybody watch what he did at Louisville. If you didn't see him, Miami, Louisville, uh, those combinations, if you didn't get a chance to see him when he was there, but definitely watch his highlights. And the one thing that, David, the one thing that stands out to me for a guy like Speed with, with Tyler, for example, yes, he can beat guys off the line and he could throw it over the top to him. But also his when he catches the ball, essentially before, you know, while it's in the air, when he catches the ball, he really explodes past defenders after he catches the ball. It's not just about beating a guy off the line with, with good footwork and, and speed acceleration. He also beats guys when he has the ball in his hands uh, and he finishes off plays. And that's what stands out to me with him. And Tyler Van Dyke wants to throw the ball deep. He, he has said that since he's been at Miami, he wants to throw it. We've seen him throw the ball well there at, you know, over his career. And I think he can get back to that with a guy like Tyler. So for you to say, Tyler, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, other names outside the top five would have surprised me a little bit. And the other three guys I had was running back AJ Allen. I think he's going to be in the mix transfer running back from Nebraska. Also too, you know, Javion Cohen, you know, when I touched on Matt Lee, why I think he'll, you know, maybe there's another offensive line better. I think Javion Cohen's going to be very good guard for Miami. I think he's going to have a very good season. So maybe if we're looking at those two, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Javion essentially was better on the field. Field, you know, and, and I think his leadership is there and all that too. But I just think Matt Lee at the center spot makes a big difference. And then the other guy, maybe this would surprise some people because of his career, but I think cornerback Jaden Davis out of Oklahoma is going to make a big impact too. I, I think he's a guy that can come in and have a productive season. So that would be something to watch for too. But Miami has a lot of guys. They bring in guys on the defensive defensive line, on the defensive side of the ball. Francis, Francisco Maui Noah, linebacker. They like him. You know what he's able to do. I think you could go there too because maybe he's going to unseat some guys there and be a starter potential leading tackler on the team, one of the top tacklers. So that'll be something to watch for. You know, Branson Dean, they like what he did at Purdue. Also Thomas Gore, some defensive line stuff, and Cam McCormick at tight end. You know, so they've got some guys. Again, there's 16 names. We're not going to get. Yeah. The other guy I would have mentioned if if we were picking two names, I do I do have a lot of optimism for Francisco Maui Noah, the linebacker transfer from Washington State. I think he's a valuable addition from a consistency standpoint. Miami hasn't been good enough with stopping the run uh, for a couple years now. And I think at its core, linebacker play is see ball, get ball, have the instincts to know where the ball's going and have the physicality to get there and get the guy on the ground. I think Francisco's that type of linebacker. I really liked what we saw from him in the spring. 6'2", 230, looks the part. I think 80 plus tackles is on the table for him this season at middle linebacker. Um, And if he does that, he's going to provide a tremendous boost to that linebacker spot. So I agree overall with your point though, Jaden Davis, kind of an alpha dog personality at cornerback, kind of a veteran guy. I'm intrigued there. In general, I like how this group is raising the floor of Miami though, going into 2023. Yeah, I think these guys are going to make an impact. I think all across the board, you've got guys that can really help either with the depth or earn starting positions. So there's a lot of transfers that you definitely keep an eye on uh, with those guys. I think, again, a, a guy like A.J. Allen, the way the running back situation, we don't know exactly Don Chaney Jr. coming back from running with his injury, Trevante Citizen. And if you're looking for a guy that that is essentially all the way healthy, nothing really to worry about as far as we know, A.J. Allen is that guy. And I think it wouldn't be surprising if he's right there in the mix and making plays as an impact guy, as a transfer at the running back spot. But definitely drop in the comments below. Let us know which transfers. There's We didn't touch on everybody, but maybe there's some guys that you're excited about that we're that we haven't talked about but also let us know what you think of our comments with lee and harrell as a top two transfer impacts for the hurricanes this season thanks again for watching hopefully you have a good rest of the day and take care